I've had a chance to play with, to watch, and to coach. Some of the very best ever to play the game of basketball. And now I'm going to give 16 students a chance to show me their very best. During the 40 years that I've coached, we've had walk-on players make great contributions to some of our teams. We're hoping to find one here. If you think trying to be that one guy is going to be easy, then you've never talked to anybody that's played for me. Hey! Don't think I'm beyond cutting everybody. That's too slow. Screen, set it up. Get it in there quicker. Get open. Let's go. Let's go. Previously on night school. Get your butt down, Neil. Get your butt down. It seems to me it's getting more and more intense. You're like a rabbit taking a dump in the woods, Neil. I feel like I'm not really getting in the flow of the game right now. It seems like I'm kind of going through the motions without really getting involved. Each group of four will be playing against our scholarship players. Hey, go, go, go. They had to learn how rough this is, how tough this is. Get rid of it. This isn't like playing in the mural league, AJ. Any cut, you can be gone no matter how well you play. The two guys that we're going to release are Neil Wilson and Cody Brown. I'm not tall, I'm not strong, but I gave it a shot. I was honestly kind of surprised. Maybe I was thinking too much, I'm not sure. Neil started as a front runner. What Neil ran into was a lack of consistency. Everybody thinking Neil is for sure, and then today he's gone. So we don't know what coach is looking at or how he's evaluating each player. So it's really hard to figure out coach's decisions now. <laughs> Surprising day, I think. I did not see that one coming, really. If I had to pick one guy uh, to stay who I knew would stay, it would have been Neil. And I really thought this whole time Neil was kind of the front runner. He can do so many different things, run up and down the court, shoot the ball, he's real athletic. I was really surprised Neil left. They write us something? Yeah. Good luck to all y'all. However, listen, you have the game. Cole, keep playing smart via microphone. Tyler represent the league, fellas down low. Justin, good luck in the league. AJ, stay confident, don't get frustrated. Marvin, listen. That's what everybody, I'm trying to listen. Nobody understands, I really am trying to listen. Hey, what time is it, Tyler? Um, 11.45. Oh, okay. Hey, Paul. What's up? They don't call this sucker night school for nothing. like the number of doves. I was afraid that cold front was going to blow them all out. I've been hunting with Coach Knight since his first arrival uh, in Lubbock. We've gone out and, uh, and hunted and fished uh, all over the United States. Sometimes it's a very needed break for him uh, after a basketball game. The next day, the NC2A doesn't allow a, a practice, and so he uses that time as a refresher in his heart and minds. It's a time to break away from the world of basketball. Uh, hunting season and basketball season seem to parallel one another very well. The thing that I like about hunting, there's still kind of a, a game, a challenge. You know, I enjoy a challenge. Sometimes, sometimes you walk, oh, damn, there went, man, there's a shot right there. Come on back this way. You know, if you're keeping score, that's three for three. Mike, 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 behind you. The preacher is a natural born killer. <laughs> the, the great thing about hunting for me is it really gives me something I like, and still it enables me to be really paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm figuring out what we're going to do with our practice this afternoon. I really jumped on those, those kids of ours because the uh, TV kids just played their ass off. In fact, the, the TV kids outplayed them. And, and just the fact that, that 
they were playing hard made a huge difference in the way they played against our kids last night. Dead eye dick shooting today. We're down to six players at the moment, but I said it from the get-go. I, I want this spot. I want to win it. I want for that number one position. Nothing else is going to make me happier. Not top two, not top four. My goal is number one. You know, I'm really not that worried right now. I think I'm playing hard enough. But uh, then again, I thought Neil was, and I was pretty shocked when he went. But uh, you know, I think I'm playing better than at least two other guys. So I think right there, that gives me a little satisfaction. So there's always that little, could be like that shocker, you know. Okay, guys, how are we doing? Good, yeah. Damn, you don't sound very enthusiastic. I mean, we have a little enthusiasm. Yes, sir. Uh, because that's what we're going to talk about for a moment. Now, basketball is a really interesting game because you don't have to be great at everything to be a good player. If I had only one ingredient, one ingredient that my players could have on my team, it would be enthusiasm, even more than intelligence. We can't have a guy that really knows how to play and sees how to play and might as well be sitting in the stands instead of playing because he doesn't have any enthusiasm. Coach has got that old school mentality and he's respected for it. You know, when you're enthusiastic about something, you play harder, you play with more passion, more desire. We want a guy that is enthusiastic in his play. He's enthusiastic about his teammates and he knows that the harder he plays, the better our team is gonna be. Let me hear you say enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. That's not good enough. Now let me tell you what, if the pitch of enthusiasm from your voices, your six voices, does not reach the point where it satisfies me in terms of its decibel content, then we're going to run sprints. Say it. Enthusiasm! That's what we're after, boys. The best teachers that I've ever known have all been intolerant people. Somebody made a rectal deposit with the ball for you. You guys aren't playing much defense. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! I think enthusiasm is effort. I think it's synonymous with effort. I think you're enthusiastic. You go hard to the board. They've got the ball. You break to the other end. You get there before they do. All of a sudden, we've got the ball. Enthusiasm seems to be something that we can spread and something that we can put on the whole loaf rather than just on one slice. Three minutes on the clock. OK, Arvin and Cole, let's go. You're looking to get open and get the ball and then see if you can score with it. If you have to give it up, you got to work to get open. The defense is going to work to keep you from getting the ball. Go ahead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. See the ball in bold stance. Cut off the baseline. Again, again, again. Short. Too much room. That was bad. Three dribbles in the key. You got the ball. Somebody made a rectal deposit with the ball for you. As Coach Knight's evaluating us, I'm a little afraid. He's uh, concerned about me not being uh, enough of a playmaker, which I feel I have the ability to do. Too easy, too easy. Oh, good shot. Ball up. Let's go, let's go. We got a middle. Let's let me strong both ways. Well, you know what's really hard for kids that, that, that haven't worked like this before is all of a sudden this is harder than they've ever had to work. Oh, yeah. Next two guys, Dustin and Tyler. Good. What do you got? Don't put it on the floor unnecessarily. Look to get it right back. Good play. 
I came out here and just knew I had to give it my all and no matter what coach asked me, I was going to do my hardest and not let my body tell me what I was going to do. I was going to control it myself. Black, black offense. Good fake. Good nice block. Good block. Keep playing. Keep play, play. Back out. Back out. The stamina thing is just an incredibly difficult thing for us. I thought Dustin's um, stamina was going to hurt him. I don't think Dustin had the stamina to be able to come out and go full blown. You know, you're constantly, you know, battling the whole time, and you're just hoping the coach would stop it, just you know, just to say something. I'm just not used to uh, this type of workout, you know. Good, good. Don't finish, finish, finish. They, they're going a minute, ten seconds, and kids just wear down. Cody and AJ, first possession. Cody on offense. Good cut. Good fake. Good fake. Good play. Get it in. Get it in. Good play. Get it in. Stance. I just want to make a shot so I can prove, like, oh, I can shoot. Not that I'm just going to miss every shot like he thinking. Yo, good read. Finish. Let's go, let's go! I think, I know I, my confidence is building back up, so I'm not really too worried about my shot. It's more of my defense that I'm worried about. You guys, are, you guys aren't playing much defense. Physically, I was, I was pretty tired out there today. I don't know why, but um, I'm coughing a lot and stuff. Terrible shot, AJ, terrible shot. Hey, AJ, you, you need to quit shooting three-pointers and cut to the basket and do some other things to make yourself more noticeable. What, what are you doing? What you're doing is making yourself noticeable that you can't shoot. Get into him, Cody. That's a lazy man's way of playing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's two things you can do when some adversity hits or when a coach tells you something. You can take it and become a better player for it, or you can take it and sulk or worry about it or let it affect your game in a negative way. You two guys are out. Now, what we're going to do is send you out. We're going to come right here to this spot. You're going to be throwing a basketball one at a time. We're going to see if you can shoot it under pressure being as tired as you are. Are you tired? Yes, well, that's good. Then you should all make it. We should have six in a row. Off. I think the best teachers in anything are the most demanding. The best teachers that I've ever known have all been intolerant people. They don't like mistakes. They don't like sloppiness. They won't stand for it. Send them out. Hey! Concentrate, concentrate. I wasn't expecting him to start yelling at us when I was shooting. I mean, as soon as I started pulling the trigger, he started running out of yelling. I was like, kind of threw me off a little bit. Shooting under pressure is very important. It's like a key to the game. If you can shoot under pressure, you know the ball going to you in the last moments of the game. OK, now when you come out, you're going to shoot a free throw. We do a lot of things trying to put pressure on kids. We're 0 for 6. Don't miss this. I'm going to push you in the back. I'm going to shove you in the do back. It. Don't miss Don't this. This is a game winner. It's a game winner here. Don't miss it. You got to make it. Not bad. With some kids, you never eliminate distraction. I mean, they become distracted by everything. And they could have great ability, and yet they're distracted. OK, Cody. Let's see if you can make this, Cody. You Cody number five, Cody, number third. Watch the bucket. You better see that bucket, Cody. You better not pay attention to me, Cody. Don't watch me. Next. Next. AJ, you laughing? You're not even ready, AJ. What are you going to do? Look at you. Get out of here. If you can't it. catch it, AJ, you shouldn't be out here. Look at you. Chunk. Don't miss this, AJ. Don't chunk this one. I'd look at the bucket if I were you. Every player going to try to distract you some way or another. So free throws, you got to zone everybody out, concentrate, do your same routine. 
I mean, where's the bucket? See, if you've been watching the bucket, you'd made it. Okay, Dustin. You're dogging it all day, Dustin. You're not gonna even hit this, Dustin. Dustin, a lot riding on this, Dustin. But don't let me bother you. Pretty good. Yes. Arvin, no way you miss this. Yes. I'm gonna kick you in the butt. I'm gonna you kick you right to the baseline. No Here it comes, it's Arvin! I think it's very important that the players in the night school have a chance to play against our guys. We wanted them to see basketball played at the level that uh, our team plays it in our league. They come out here looking at us like we don't belong. All right, now, our game is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go three on three. If you've brought it into play once for your team, white or black, I want somebody else bringing it in the next time. Don't let me have to say, hey, you just brought it in. All right, here we go. Come on, call a good pass. Not too low, Dustin. Help! It's you, AJ. AJ, you got help. On top, on top, on top. White ball this time, white ball, let's go. Good pass, good pass. That bad pass cost us a shot. Ball, black ball. Now, Cole, instead of catching the ball with both hands and keeping the dribble alive, throw me a ball. Instead of keeping it, you slapped it carelessly down. Now you got no dribble left. So you're stuck in the corner, you lost the ball. Black ball. Here we go, spring. Let's go. Help. Don't get split, AJ. Pass. Good finish. Reverse it down screen. <laughs> Hey, hey, I don't want to hear my bad. Yes, sir. That may be my least favorite expression in the history of the English language. Yes, we know you made a bad pass. You're advertising it does not mean that we're going to exonerate it. Let's go. Don't foul. Show your hands. Come on, Cody Hanley today. Cody? Good trap, Dustin. Ball up, ball up. White ball. Let's go. Come on, AJ. Working it open, Dustin. Help. Help. Good help, Arvin. Coach. Ah, you let him right over top, Coach. Good pass. Good look, AJ. Let's go, Black. Hustle off the court. Hustle off the court. Hey, remember when he says enthusiasm to yell your head off? Remember that? Just yell. You're feeling now. Just don't. Don't worry. Up after that last one. The thing for us was, can they push through an adverse situation? And we kind of want to see the overall effort. Who'd kind of give in to being tired? Who, would, even when they're tired, who, who would keep on going and pushing through it? Okay, Chris, let's have both threes out here. It's very important that the players in the night school have a chance to play against our guys. Number one, it gives us a chance to see how they would play against the competition that they'll have to play against in the Big 12. And then number two, it shows us how they play together. Stu will throw the ball to the guy on top, and that's how we'll get started. Black ball. Here we go. Let's get above him, Terry. Get into him, get into him, get into him. Get into him, Terry. We wanted them to see how much different basketball played uh, in the rec center or played in the intramural league uh, is than basketball played at the level that uh, our team plays it in our league. Keep working, keep working. Finish, finish, finish. All over, all over. Cut. Go swing, Arvin. Well, they come out here looking at us like we don't belong, like we're opportunistic for being out here. So every time I see one of those guards come out here, I'm going to take it to them every time from any guard they have. Good thing, good thing. Take it from him. All over it. Screen, screen, Cody. Move the ball where you make the pass. Get it to him, Dad. They were playing hard. I mean, they were, they were fouling a lot, and but that's I mean that's how the games go usually in Big 12. But yeah, I, mean, I had a couple turnovers um, that I felt I got fouled on, but you got to keep playing through it. So they were my mistakes. Come on, use your head. Think, think. So let's go. Well, we're taking a lot of bad shots. That's what the play in our league is going to be like. And if I'm one of those kids and I'm playing against scholarship players, then I've got to be able to say to myself, I'm better than these guys. Or in many cases, hey, I can't play like these guys can. 
Take it from him. Take it from him. Ball is ball. All over. Black ball. Black. Black. All over. Help. Get take it from him. Shot call. Ball up. Get it to him. Get it to him. Oh, no, no, no. That's a pound. That's a carry. You lose possession with that. They were getting physical, and we just played hard along with them, trying not to play dirty, even though some of those guys were just fouling a lot. But we played our game and did what the coaches asked us to do, and I think we got out to them very well. Second front two, all over. Help! You, Dad. Box out, box out, Black. Cool, let's go. Ball, Q. Box out. All up, let's go. I was getting a little frustrated at first because you know, I was sending some good picks, getting low, getting open up for a pass or something, dump it in. But instead, you know, they're taking a shot. You know, I wouldn't necessarily get mad if you know they make them all, but you know, get get the big guy the ball. You know, you want to share it a little bit? Yeah, I got you. I do shit that time. That's how I'm gonna play. I'm gonna get down and dirty. Good. I ain't gonna hurt him, though. That's my boy. I ain't gonna play it. Good shot. I ain't gonna play dirty. I'm play hard. You know, twice as strong. We gotta do what we gotta do. When they shove and push, it's not a problem. I mean, we can do it right back, but we just want to make sure we don't play dirty or anything like that. Because, I mean, they might play dirty, but they're already on the team. They know they can play dirty and get away with it. We can't. It's good. Okay, we're playing four on four with no release. Now, what we're looking for is a proper execution. We're going to really study our tapes now to see who knows what we want done with execution. Let's go, let's go. Black ball. We're the ball size too easy, Tyler. You got to move, top. move, Good help, AJ. AJ, 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 AJ go back there. Go back there. Let's talk, boy. You got to get out there, Tyler. Go, go straight. Hold a minute. Hey, now, Blacks, let me ask you a question. We start practice. We have two hours of this. Whites? Two hours of this. That's what our practice is. Two hours. We can't be tired. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, black ball. You got help there, Arvin. You got to see that. You got a big black right there in front of you. Move, move over there. Good hands. Good hands. Good help. Is that Tyler got a piece of that? He's alert. He, he's really alert to what's going on. He has a good sense of how to play. They were trying to shove us around and trying to like make us uh, look like we were, we couldn't compete with them. But we went out there and we were hitting them pretty hard and get sticking it right back to them because we weren't we weren't going back down from them at all. Don't get frustrated. Don't get into a fight with them. He's literally just going like this. He was doing this to you. I seen it. I'm going to knock his hand off and then go. No, just go off a pig. He's going like this. I'm going around him. He's grabbing. I'm going to hit his arm and get him off me. This ain't dirty, AJ? Yeah, it is. This ain't dirty? That's them. Come on, come on. Come on, go, go, go. Let's go. Good cut, Good cut, Arvin. Come on, come on. Stay, stay. I got plenty. Right, right here. me. Who's got the ball, Black? Everybody has talent nowadays. Uh, small schools, big schools, and, and the, what separates everybody is their mental toughness. You know, how much are they going to be focused mentally? Are they going to be worried about their little aches and pains, or are they going to be more focused on trying to make make our team? Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Who's go. that me? Go on, go on, Good hit. They're a little bit more athletic, but. It's a part of us, uh, you know, we're trying out for the team and we want to make it that bad to where our desire is going to keep up with their athleticism. Come on, let's go, let's go, Black! Nice drive. Hey, that's green! This is off. Get open, get open, get open! Don't just run, Cody! V cut! Who's got it? Good cut, good pass, Cole! Okay, that was very good. Patience, you move quickly, but you played with patience. That's what it's all about. Now just take a blow. We've had a sign in our locker room forever. Victory favors a team making fewest mistakes. Not the team making great plays, not the team shooting the highest percentage, but victory favors a team making fewest mistakes. I want to see the five guys that just got their ass beat by intramural players. 
I can't repeat a lot of those things we said to our guys. But there's an opportunity for us to kind of get on our guys a little bit. Coach, getting on those guys, that's what it's all about. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Coach Chris told us that uh, as a walk-on, that's like one of the highlights, when you get Coach to yell out somebody else. So when Coach started yelling at them, that really that made my day because, I mean, I, I got after them. I even got a couple buckets on some of them. I don't care if they hit and slap. Yeah. I'm strong enough for that. I can't. I'm done, man. I'm gonna get cut for sure. Yeah. I'm not happy with how today went, really. I mean, we, as a team, we played well against uh, the tag guys, but individually, I'm not happy with how I played at all. I'm serious, though, this time. The scrimmage getting tech. We, we played really good. We're going out there and busting our button, like beating them up and down the floor and showing them that we're not just a bunch of chumps. We, we really know how to play basketball. They play hard, we're going to play hard right along with them. It's like, don't bag down from nobody. It's like, they team versus our team, and that's how we got to play. You hear me? You ready to take a charge? They going to drive hard and try to go into hey, us now. Now listen, I've gotten on their ass because you took it to those guys the first time. Now, I've gotten on their ass, to this guys that are coming out here, to make them come after you. So you guys just withstand that. You just keep playing like you are, play together, and help each other out. Let's go. Let's go, Jay. Green down. Get good, good. What do we got? Good cut, Good cut, Armour. Good pass. Oh, Clay. Go screen. Go screen, Drew. Get in tall. Get in tall. Box out. Let's go. Why push it up? Push it up. Quick, quick, white, quick. Just out ran you. We just ran you. Screen. Look in. Easy. That's it. Let's go. I think they got a, a real uh, idea of what kind of competition basketball provides uh, at this level, the Big 12 Conference. Screen. Come on, white. Come on, white. No foul. No foul. Let's go. The balls go. Let's go. Let's get it. Right. Right. Got six seconds. Another clock. Another clock. Very good, White. Really good. Boys, the first thing is this. You guys ought to really be proud, all six of you, of the way you played against our scholarship players tonight and did a really, really good job of playing with enthusiasm, playing hard, trying to help each other. I really enjoyed what you did out here. Wasn't particularly pleased with the scholarship players, but you made it that way. I doubt if there's six athletes in the country that have worked any harder than you guys have, which makes our job all the more difficult, but all the better, because we have six good guys to choose from. Six guys. Now, because you've worked so hard, you guys ought to take in the South Plains Fair tonight. Enjoy yourselves, relax a little bit. We're going to be working, and it's going to be a lot of work to get us down to four. It was a hell of an effort from you for tonight, boys. Something that whatever happens, you guys should really be proud of. Before you leave, we got a little treat for you. Nobody has done more for the promotion of college basketball during all the time that I've been in coaching than this guy. He's been a, been a great asset to college basketball. Dick Vitale. And he's got some words for you. Okay, see you tomorrow. I want to certainly thank Coach Knight, one of the guys I have such respect for, a Hall of Famer, for giving me an opportunity to share you competitive people. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, absolutely awesome, baby, that you're participating in this event. I think it's great that you're reaching out. Remember this, anything you achieve in life, achieve it with a great deal of enthusiasm. Dickie V, he's a college basketball icon, and him talking to us, looking up on the Jumbotron, and him relaying a message to us guys, um, just six of us, and knowing he's talking to us, uh, that's pretty, pretty special. People are going to reach out and ask, what was it like for you to play on the Coach Robert Montgomery night? And you'll tell him about the moment in practice when he gave you that real handshake, when he said, great job, or maybe when he even jumped in your face. And let me tell you this, if he jumps in your face, love it. Love every moment of it, because that means he cares. If I was calling a game for you guys playing now, I'd say you're all 3S, baby. Super scintillating sensational. I'd say you're all PT beers, primetime performers, and then I would come by saying, you're all awesome, baby, with a capital A, just like the general. <laughs>
Um, when Dicky V said we were primetime players, that's one of my favorite lines in all of basketball. Yeah, the three S's. Super scintillating, sensational, baby. <laughs> He's just an exciting speaker. So that influenced all of us, I think, inspired us all of us to work hard and play hard and know that we did our best. And as long as we're giving our best, that's all we can do. We really like Lubbock, and, and we really like the people. I kid the people here. Uh, 201,000 really, really nice people and one or two sorry bastards, and that's about the best uh, equation I've ever heard of for a city. You send them a place like the fair or, or out to eat together in movies and get them out there so people can come up to them, talk to them, question them. You know, they have to learn how to interact. This gives them a lot of responsibilities. Uh, we're at the Lubbock County Fair right now, and uh, it's a nice night out. Just having a little bit of fun. You know, trying to take our minds off things right now. Just spend some time with the guys, you know, and then get ready for tomorrow. I think everybody's getting along real well. We're not really thinking about too much about basketball right, right now. We're just having a little fun together. Thanks. We're throwing a thousand. On the court, we're two good competitors, and usually we go at it and get a little fierce and you know a little physical. But now it's a little bit fun. I don't have to punk them so much. <laughs> <laughs> that win, that win is killer. Dang. Damn. I made three out of about fifty, probably. Three out of about eighty-five, maybe. <laughs> Oh, 70 sound. 70 sound. You got to ride that bull. Hey, it's our cowboy, Dustin. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Doing that. I am not doing that. It's all right. <laughs> the hobby uh, that I've really kind of enjoyed is uh, collecting books that people have written and then having them sign those books. And among the, the, the books I have are three or four from Ted Williams that, that, uh, that he signed for me. I have some uh, books that the presidents have signed. Every coach kind of has a passion, and his just happens to be reading. I mean, I've never seen without a book on a bus, a plane, an airport. It doesn't matter if we got a half hour trip just to go hunting or fishing, he's reading a book. I go through here, and, and every one of these books is something of a treasure to me for one reason or another. But Bill Russell uh, signed his book this way. It is not what we give, but what we share. For the gift without the giver is bare. And it's not signed just Bill Russell. It's signed William Russell a friend of yours. Freedom is very important to Coach Knight. He thinks it's a big asset in life and it's one of the most important things you'll ever learn to do and ever keep doing. When I was six years old, I had to have a library card. And I had to read a book a week. We lived in a small town in northeastern Ohio, and either my mother or my grandmother walked me to the library. It was about four blocks from where we lived that one time a week to make sure that I had a book to read. But even more important than enjoyment from reading is the knowledge that one gains from reading. 
When we went over to the elementary, uh, I learned that, you know, Coach Knight doesn't just care about basketball or how we are on the basketball court, but also off the court. He doesn't want us just involved in basketball, that's all we think about, but uh, to get involved in the community and, and do the best we can for uh, not just ourselves, but also the children around here. And I just don't think there is a single thing that a parent can do for his or her child than require them to read. That's the whole foundation to education. Education is the whole foundation to success. Thank you. I think that's probably the toughest decision that we've had. Every time I'm going into it thinking I'm on the bubble, I know I can be gone any instance. The two players that we are going to release are When it comes time to make a decision and you're getting ready to get rid of a kid that you've been around for a little while and got a chance to know a little bit, it, it, it is pretty hard. Sometimes when you recruit a kid, they, they think it's their divine right to be here instead of that, that it's a privilege. And these kids all act like it's a privilege to try out for this team. All right, it gets tougher and tougher. But, you know, before we even talk about guys, I'll tell you what. the most basketball they've played has been uh, intramural basketball. And I mean, we, we would be uh, blind if we didn't think that in the first five-on-five -five session that uh, those kids just outplayed those scholarship kids on our team. I mean, I, I think they actually outscored them eight to three. I was trying to keep track of those yeah. four. The big thing that I think we take from something like that is that these kids have really paid attention and really worked at trying to do what we want done. I think they've grasped the idea of being a basketball player that can help a team win rather than we're going to judge them all on individual skills. If you were going to cut one player, Chris, who would you cut? Well, I've been his biggest supporter since the first day, but I just think it's time that uh, Cody is just, he's kind of reached his limit from a strength standpoint and conditioning. He's just, he's struggling. I definitely agree with you. Cody really struggles. His stamina is, right now is not up to par. I think he's been a little bit sick, too, but that's that's part of the equation. Cody's a, a kid that I think really understands how to play. Cody would be a nice player in, in, in a lot of situations because he would really be an asset help to a team. Who would we definitely keep? I would keep Tyler at this point. All right, Pat? Tyler. Chris? Arvin. He brings it. Pat summed it up great, I think, out there when he said Arvin was a pain in the ass, but he was a good pain in the ass because he does keep things stirred up. And he's like the Energizer Bunny. I mean, he just keeps at it and keeps at it and keeps at it. And in doing that, he gets a lot of things done. Dustin really struggled in terms of getting up and down the floor and all. I had Cole, but Cole really came on, and I thought Dustin uh, has really gone back. Chris? To me, I can see Cole being on our team. I, I wouldn't cut Cole. It comes down between Dustin and AJ. What do you think, Pat? Well, I just didn't like Dustin's effort. The last couple practices, he's got that cool breeze mode going. Now, AJ didn't help himself the days before. To me, Cole's a no-brainer. I think he's giving the effort every day. AJ well, wait a minute. Both of you guys feel the same way about Cole in regard to what Pat's saying? Yeah, Cole's yeah. the effort guy. The effort guy. Gets himself set for a shot. Hits some big threes out there today. Dustin has hit some shots over the course of the time. He's gotten some rebounds. He's gotten some things around the bucket. AJ has not hit any shots, but he's rebounded well. He's made some athletic plays. Uh, we had a lot of kids struggle. They've been put through things that are really tougher than we put our own players. Now we're talking about who has earned the right to go on over all the sessions that we've had from beginning to end. And a tough decision. I think that's probably the toughest decision that we've had.
When I woke up this morning, first thing on my mind was if I'm going to stay around or not. Hopefully, I'm starting to step it up. Hopefully, I'm starting to be more enthusiastic. Hopefully, he realizes I'm paying attention to him. I just want to show him that I'm the best player out here. It was difficult for me having to wait 24 hours. It was weighing on my mind quite a bit because I didn't feel like I played my best. But uh, I was trying not to let it get to me. Waiting overnight made it extremely intense. We were thinking about it all night. Like, who do you think going to get cat? Every time I'm going into it thinking I'm on the bubble. So I don't really know where I'm standing right now, but I know I can be gone any instance. When coach actually comes through the tunnel, you know, to come out to the court, your mind kind of goes blank. OK, man. One of the criteria that we used with the Olympic team is a very important criteria in the selection that we've made for tonight and that's consistency. We've taken all of the workouts that you've had and we've covered the statistics. We're at a point now where we have two sessions left to determine that one player as a walk-on. We're not necessarily keeping the greatest player, the best jumper, the best shooter. What we've really worked hard at as a coaching staff is to take the players that have been most consistently doing those things that we want done from the very beginning to the end. You've done a great job. You've worked really hard, all of you. I tell you that uh, simply because I mean it. The two players that we are going to release are Cody, and AJ. Now, you know what I say about how hard you two guys have worked? You've worked just as hard as four guys. But to get to one guy, we have to have criteria. Boys, good luck to all of you. If I can ever help you, give me a call. OK. I'm good, man. Congratulations to the team. I'll keep working on it. Let's go. One, three, y'all go. Set. One, two, three, set. I'm very disappointed in myself that, um, that I didn't win it, but I know I didn't perform up to my best. When I had that consistency, I knew I was going to I played so bad yesterday, I figured that was kind of... Coach Knight taught us that you work your hardest, you play the, play your hardest, and if you win, that's great. Don't get too big-headed about it. If you lose, take it like it's a win. AJ starts the competition um, as a talented athlete that can play the game. As he goes on, I don't know if he took the, the criticism, both positive and negative, as well as some of the other players. I played well, pretty pretty consistently, I felt like, but uh, yesterday I had a real off day. It just wasn't my day, and I think that, that hurt me quite a bit. I learned a lot of things while I was here, not just basketball-wise, like they go into life, too. I've always respected Coach Knight, but I got a new respect from after this. Cody Keller uh, really understood how to play uh, better than anybody did. If we were picking a team, Cody Keller would have been one of the first players I would have said, this kid can play. And, and we want him because he understands how to play. But stamina became a factor. There's a whole different approach that you use in coming up with one player than in coming up with a team. I know my boys, man. This gets harder and harder because we're all knowing each other now. I was a little surprised with Cody going because uh, when Coach started talking about concentration and consistency, I thought that he, was, he had played pretty consistent throughout the entire process. I kind of miss them guys, you know, me and AJ kind of got a pretty good bond together, you know, we did some things together off the court, and uh, really he's a good kid. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be moving on. When you look around and you realize there's only three other guys left, and uh, there's actually a shot at this. Yeah, at this point in time, I'm real happy that I made the cut to four, but at the same time, that's not the goal here. My goal here is to be that number one guy to win this walk-on position. I mean, Cody and AJ were called my best friends in the house. Real sad to see them go, but I'm real happy to be here, but 
I know there's a lot of work ahead of me. I'm sure he, he's going to make that one person earn that spot. And I'm ready to do all the work for it. Pontiac invites you to see what's next on Night School. Coming up on the next Night School, if you want to play, this is what you have to do. I'm trying to see who's going to break down. Who's going to be the sissy? Push it up! Get that feeling where you want to throw up a must. And then all of a sudden, the Dallas Maverick wheelchair squad comes out. Oh, there you go. Turn, turn, turn. Oh! Give us a one, two, three jump. I don't know if I can jump. I have never been in a tub of cold water like that before in my life. It was pretty painful. Tonight's the night where we we'll cut down to the final two. Who is the guy out of you four that can play for us? Brought to you by Pontiac, official performance machines of the NCAA.